Okay, so recently I did a double exposure photo of a dandelion in both the edges of its life, and a few people thought it was great, so I thought I'd just show you how I did it. And here's my way of doing it, basically. So I hope you enjoy. As you can see, we've got two pictures here and here, and basically, this is what we created it. So I won't wait in about for the same flower, it will have two separate flowers. So starting with this, basically what we're going to do is up in this top right hand corner you've got a little tool here, it's called brush tool so click on that first thing to make sure is, is if you come down this list auto mask, there's a little tick box there make sure you've got that ticked slightly up to the top you've got exposure make sure that that's on minus 4 so we're going to click on to this picture, as you can see I've got this tool that I can make bigger. The inner darker circle is the point that it goes to, and the outer circle is like a feather, so it's stronger in the middle and less stronger on the outside. So you can see the little white plus in the middle. What we're going to do is we're going to click on a colour. So we're going to click on this green here, keeping his finger on the mouse button. Can you see now it's overexposed? We're going to work his way around this picture, and what will happen is if we want to feather the like that, you can see because we've auto masked it, it's not going to change that picture. It's only going to do unless you write onto it, it will change it. But if you don't, you keep away, it will not touch it. And that is as simple as that. What you might find is now in this one corner, you've got stuff that's slightly different color that's not changed. Put the cross on the middle. Keep your finger on it and it'll do things that's of a similar colour to that, it'll overexpose them. So you might just need to do that a couple of times just to get it completely dark. That's that. So back up to this tool here, click it off, and then we're back onto it. So what I'd normally do on something like this is put clarity up to about 65. And that's going to make it pop a little bit more. We're on a dark screen, so it's not going to make the background pop. We're not bothered about that. If we look in, and you can see once it catches back up, it's because it's a raw file that took a bit of catching up. Then, what I'd also do is go down and put noise reduction on about 30. Yep, that'll do. So that, that's, that, that's that done for now, simple as that, move on to the picture. What we're going to do, again, we're just going to put that clarity up a little bit. Uh, we can adjust like highlights, how much you want the flower to pop, shadows, you know. You can adjust this until you get the flower how you like it. We all have different ideas on what we like, so that's personal preference. So again then back up to the bridge tool, again exposure, minus 4, back across to the picture and we're going to work around this nice and dark again. What you might find is depending on computer set up it might take a while to catch up it will catch up you know just wait about for it again if you've got someone that's not getting picked up come back off it click on your mouse button again and it will find it now what I've done is I've left a little bit of, until the light I'm going to leave that little bit of stem on there because it will help me line flower up. Yeah. So if at any point you go too far and you make something dark, if you press Command and Z on Mac or Control and Z on PC, it will undo your last move. Simple as that. So we've got that as we want it. So we just need to override the settings there. If you override the settings, then that saves them on the raw file. It's because it's a raw file. So then, 
we highlight this, drag it across to Photoshop, it's going to bring camera raw up because it's a raw file, we don't need to alter the settings because we've already done it, so we're just going to click open image, we'll let that render in. Once that's done, back across to Lightroom, again, drag it across to Photoshop. Again, it's going to go into Camera Raw. It's only going into Camera Raw because the raw files, if you've done them in JPEG, it will end that. It'll just drop straight into Photoshop. Click again, click Open Image, and there we go. Super. Right, so I'm going to analyze. I'm just going to zoom in to this flower, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across here and click Quick Selection Tool. You need to make sure that it's on the plus. Up here, you've got a brush size. It'll alter the size of your brush, make it smaller. So. There we go, we're going to start selecting that. It not matter if you go into black because we're working on a black picture. If you are working on another background, that's something different. We'll do another video on that if you want me to. All you've got to do is ask and I'll show you how to do it. Just going to bring down and copy a little bit of that stem in so that it helps us line it up with the other flower when we've done. If you click on the minus sign, you can come back up. As you can see, it'll take a little bit of that picture back out. Once we've got to that stage, what we're going to press is Command and C on Mac, Control and C on PC, which basically copies what you've already got in the highlighted section. So then we'll go across to his other picture. Again, I'm just going to zoom into this, it just makes it a little bit easier. And then Command and V, we'll paste the other picture over the top, or Control and V on PC. When we've got here at this stage, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press Command and T and basically what that does is that highlights the box so that I can move it around wherever. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically line that stem up, something like. Now, if you put your finger on the Shift key, when you move this box, it'll all expand at the same rate. So if you watch here, if I've not got my finger on Shift key, it can go to any size. To get that back, Command and Z bring it back to what it was. If you've got your finger on the shift key, while you move it, it moves about, it doesn't matter where you move the mouse, it'll only expand at the original drawing size. So it stays as it should do. So there, I'm just going to line that summit up like. Now I'm just going to take it slightly bigger just so it pops out on that side. At this stage, we've got that there. I'm going to press enter and that drops it onto drawing. Right, if we come across now here, you've got the opacity key, which you can click on that, and when you slide it down, you can see through to the other picture. Now, some people try doing it this way and it doesn't look as good, I'm going to show you a different method. So if you leave that for now, if you come across here, we've got this box that says normal, yeah, and then we've got lots of different things here. So I'm just going to click on Lighten, and there you go, something completely different. Now what you can do is uh, you can click on Background, or you can click on that and you can slightly adjust these. Yeah, but you don't need to do that, we're going to do that in Lightroom shortly. So we'll leave that as it is there. I'm just going to go back onto here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Eraser tool. So click on the Eraser tool and make sure I'm clicked on layer 1 which is the yellow flower that we dropped in. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this rubber Eraser tool slightly bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm just very gently 
going to take that green stem out here. Yeah, just very, 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 very gently. You can see here we've got a little bit of noise. Don't worry about that, we'll get rid of that when we come back into Lightroom. Again, if you go through, look, and we're going to erase all that. If you make a mistake, just come off it, don't press any more keys, and press Ctrl and Z, and it goes back to the way you are. So if you make a mistake, Ctrl and Z takes it back away. Right, so what we'll do now, we've got that like that, is we're just going to file, we're going to save as, we just put flower, change it from Photoshop, we're going to change it to JPEG, where we're going to put it, I'm going to put it on the desktop, I'm going to click save, as only this is flower already, we'll just replace it because it was me messing about earlier. Always make sure here that you've got this on large file, maximum, I guess that'll be your biggest file that you've got available, if not it'll just render it smaller and click OK. So what I'm going to do now is I'll click on here, and I know that that's the picture, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it into Lightroom. There we go, so we'll import that one. Drop this into a bigger screen, double click on it. And then we'll develop. Now what we're gonna do is we can play about with different settings here. So wise, you can adjust everything. your suiting. At this stage what we would do is we'd crop it to however we desired. And there you go, that is exactly how I did it. So Thanks for watching.